Hi Pisces, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with a reading. And Pisces, this is going to be the answer in love. Okay, so this is going to be a love reading about you and your person. And uh, yeah, we're going to do things differently today here than I always do. And this is going to be a past, present, and future reading. And then we're going to go over to Vimeo and finish out the reading, right? But for now, Pisces, uh, and please keep in mind that these energies could be vice versa, okay? And let's see here, Pisces. Right now I have three cards in front of me, and uh, these are going to be used to answer whatever question is most important or dominant, right, uh, prevalent in your mind here about your situation. And please stick with the first question that comes to mind, right, just like when you're taking a test, they say kind of go with you know, the first, first answer you think of. And at the end of the extended reading, I'm going to turn these over, right, and these are going to uh, potentially... Uh, help you with your answer, okay? Please keep in mind that the storyline is most important, more important than the signs, and more important than this as well. But let's get started. I'm going to take the first card and put it on top of the middle middle card and do this, and then when we get to the extended, I will just uh, pull them out in the order that they are in, okay? The top card on top will be the first card, right? Of course. So let's get started, and let's see what we have for Pisces. Yes, the beautiful, compassionate Pisces. Let's see what we have. The Seven of Cups. This is a past dynamic. And the King of Pentacles is here once again, Pisces, in your reading. Of course, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. I feel like for you, it has been a Virgo a lot. There could be a Taurus and Capricorn. The current dynamic is the Magician, the Death card, and the Ten of Cups. To me, it looks like there is an ending here and there is heartbreak. It could be a third party. Um, and somebody could be considering this because these, I haven't pulled any more cards, right, clarified. So, uh, yeah, and the near future, you guys, is the Two of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Three of Cups, and the Eight of Pentacles. So to me, it looks like somebody is still trying to figure out here if they're going to reunite with somebody. Uh, let's see, though, uh, this could be a transformation here, the death card, it is usually both, but let's see, um, and right in the past dynamic, uh, Pisces, I feel like somebody could have, uh, no longer been confused about a situation, it's going to depend, but the seven of cups in the reverse can, like, sometimes it is, like, not really being able to make a really hard decision, it can, it's going to depend, and the Page of Cups is here. The King of Cups, that could be you, Pisces, possibly. And that could simply be the subject of love, right? Why is that King of Cups there? The Devil card. I feel like you could have been, you could have felt stuck here. This Devil card, yeah, there's third party energy here, most likely, with the Three of Swords. I feel like in the past, you could have maybe, you know, felt really stuck here, maybe had some fear, yeah, about, uh, maybe about whether or not somebody was with somebody else, maybe, or whether or not they were going to make a choice to be with them, or the devil there, to have won, yeah, that's what that is about, and the king of pentacles, let's clarify that king of pentacles, the knight, <laughs> So this is definitely a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. You could have in the past maybe you just wanted to cut them out. But I felt like you were trying to figure out if they were maybe uh, with somebody else. Five of Wands. Chariot card. This is about a third party and somebody having victory. Why is that Knight of Swords there? Somebody possibly taking charge of their life. This could be you. Of course, this is your reading. The Justice card. You could be married to somebody, Pisces. I feel like you were, in the past, you were either trying to figure out if they were going to have victory with somebody, move forward with the third party, or you were trying to figure out if you wanted to walk away. And possibly both. The Ten of Pentacles is in the reverse. Why is that there? 
Five of Pentacles. Wow, this is a breakup and somebody being left out for somebody from the past with the Six of Cups. The Queen of Pentacles is in the reverse. Wow, so this is about you and this Earth sign. Mm hmm. I feel like in the past you could have been trying to figure out how to stop this. You could have been. The Knight of Swords is facing with his sword up, facing the Five of Wands. Like, I just want to cut this strife out. I want to cut the struggle out. I want to cut this third party ener energy out. And it's possible somebody made up their mind here. And you could have felt stuck about it. So we're going to find out, though, as we go. And the Magician is in the current dynamic next to the Death card. This looks like player energy. Why is that Magician there? The Moon card. This could be you, Pisces. It could. I feel like there is fear here. Uh, and this can be confusion and deception. Yeah, the Moon card is, you know, can be deception. It definitely can. And this is why it can create uh, confusion and fear. This is about a brand new beginning somebody wants. A passionate new beginning. It's next to the death card and the ten of cups. I feel like there could be an ending to a family dynamic. Ten of swords next to the death card. This is a painful ending. Why is that ten, ten of swords there? This is an ending with betrayal and backstabbing. Star card. And a healing. Five of Cups. Somebody's grieving, somebody healing it. Somebody's grieving a painful ending, and somebody is grieving. This is you, though. This has this most likely is you, right? I feel like you're grieving here. This could be your person, maybe in regret, currently in regret. But this is and it is also about grieving a painful ending here with betrayal and a healing with someone else. Clarify the Ten of Cups. Eight of Swords. Yeah, you're in a family dynamic, Pisces. You feel stuck and you don't know what to do about the situation. You can feel like you can't escape the situation. Like, I have a family here. What do I do? The Three of Swords right next to it. Judgment in the reverse. Judgment in the reverse can be like uh, a judgment that is like going against you. Like somebody has made a decision, but it is hurting you in some way, you are, yeah, and the tower in the reverse, wow, I feel like you're trying to figure out here right now, this could be happening now, but I feel like it is happening now, it's, it's going to depend yeah, because this Five of Cups is like an ending, so is the Ten of Swords, the Death card. This is the current situation. I feel like things could be ending for you right now. And if you don't know, you feel stuck because this is a family dynamic. And Judgment uh, with the Tower both in the reverse. This could be uh, something that was came down before. You could be dealing with somebody who was trying to go back to somebody who, like... They already broke up before. It's like a past life, uh, a past relationship. It could be a past life relationship with judgment. I feel like what this is, is this is like a rebirth with somebody. Yeah, it's a rebirth. And yes, and the tower has already fallen. It could be in the reverse, though, because it is like, it is like happening like, imminent, like right now, why is that tower there, please, high priestess, I feel like that's you, Pisces, mm -hmm. and the emperor, and this could still be, even though these are endings over here, it's a possibility here, you are grieving something because you feel like it's going to end any minute, with the tower in the reverse. And in the near future is the Two of Pentacles next to the Four of Pentacles. You are either concerned about them holding on to somebody or they are still maybe uh, 
trying to figure out if they still want to be or you reunite with this other person and put the work in. Three of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. Why is the Two of Pentacles there for Pisces? This could be the person you're dealing with, is what I'm saying, uh, or you. Five of Swords. This is mind games. I feel like you're trying to figure out if somebody's duping you. That's what I think. Or if they have gone with a third party. Lovers. You could be trying to gain your balance over here. It's a possibility. But I feel like you are just trying to figure out here whether or not they are making this choice. I feel like there was already a painful, <coughs> excuse me, some type of a painful ending in the past, too. Mm -hmm. Queen of Wands. You're dealing with an earth sign who's dealing with a Queen of Wands. Eight of Wands in the reverse. This could be blockages and delays. Two of Swords. It's possible you just don't know what to do here, too. Right? Two of Wands, Two of Swords. I mean, Two of Pentacles. Like, I'm at a cross, I'm at a stalemate here. I feel, I, I feel like I don't know what to do about the situation. You could be feeling that this is blocking you. Yes, these are, these are like delaying your life. And you could also be feel like not knowing, maybe, if there's an ending. It looks like there's an ending, but it's not exactly clear, right? And you could, over here, you could be, like, really stuck here if they're going to do this. But you could also be feeling like if, if your life is like, that your life is like in delay, like my life is immobilized here because I don't know if this person's going to move on from me and be with this Queen of Wands over here. And this could be saying too that you don't know, oh, I, f I feel like I know what this is. You don't know how to stop this. You don't know how to block this. Yes, that's what that is. Wow. Four of Pentacles. Clarify that. Temperance. Yeah, this is about a Sagittarian. One more time that you've been. This is the same story for many of you guys. Yeah. Let's get some Lenormand cards in the near future. I feel like you don't know what to do about this. You don't know how to stop it. That's what it is. You don't know how to block this choice they're making about the Sagittarian. So let's get these cards. We've shuffled. Sorry, guys. We'll do one more. And uh, let's see. Actually, I don't know if I've shuffled enough. Let's see here. From the Lenormans. And then we're going to go over to the Extended. And we're going to answer the question there, though. But we're going to find out a lot in the Extended. Yes, we are. Let's see what the... Uh, it's going to be a different extended. These readings are, I'm doing these readings different. And the woman is showing up. This could be you, Pisces. That is the beautiful woman. It's really not the third party person. <laughs> it could be, though. It's, it's Birch Broom. Somebody's in conflict about a woman. Yes, they are. They are in major conflict and chaos. Uh, maybe this can talk about a relationship. It can, uh, a marriage rather, with the tower or a long-term relationship. I feel like your whole relationship is in conflict here, big conflict. Somebody is hitting a wall. This could be your person, but this could be you here. I feel like you are hitting a wall here about what to do about this. The dog, you could be a really loyal person to this person. Maybe you feel like they are loyal to them. You could be feeling that way. And this labyrinth here is about hitting a wall and kind of like not knowing what to do, like not finding a solution. New beginnings with the stork. I feel like you don't know what to do here. Wishing well. This is somebody's wish come true. And the man. I'm going to leave it right here. Take one more card. And the birds. I usually take nine of these cards. Just any number here. Yeah, I mean, the birds can talk about, uh, it can talk about Facebook and Twitter, like kind of tweeting, right? And it can talk about gossip, and it is communication. When the birds show up, 
it is about communication, right? Because this is what they do. They, they talk, they sing, mm-hmm. and they bring messages, right? Like in the old fo folklore, before we had cars. We're going to go over, before we had maybe even horses, maybe. <laughs> We're going to go over to, oh, that sounds silly, huh? We're going to go over to Vimeo right now, I guess. We're going to talk about how they feel, Pisces, and where this is headed, what they want and what they fear as, as well. What's helping you, Pisces, and what is hurting you, right, to help, to help you out here, what like to be hurting the situation. And also, we're going to have the answer to your question, whatever that, whatever that is. Okay, you guys? And all the extensions are super affordable. Thank you so much. If you guys got a message, please give a thumbs up. And also, if you guys need your own reading, that's always the best way. Right? Thank you so much, guys.